Hi, here is Wei Wei. Hi, it's me, Ben Ben. Today we are going to talk about the topic the coronavirus. Yeah, about the mask. So, our question that we're going to discuss is why uh, do people in the East, in Asian countries like China or uh, Japan, why do they like to wear surgical masks in public, but the Westerners, uh, Europe or America, don't like to wear masks in public? So, like right now, we have virus in China since like February, January, something like this. Mm -hmm. So, like the situation in China right now from the virus, government will have the rule to wear masks because like the doctor one day were acting like facing the first patient that they didn't wear mask after they catch the virus. So we found out people will catch the virus like spreading the virus in the air when people talk from the nose or from the mouth. So they decide to wear masks. It's protect yourself from catching the virus. But first, like Western, lots of information, they don't like suggest people to wear masks. So why don't they suggest, what, what do these Western people say uh, for their reason why masks won't help? I think one is because like the government thinks if everyone wore mask in the public, it's uh, creating a situation. It's kind of scary. Of everyone is sick. But like in China, for example, people wore masks very frequent. I mean, people wore masks because they didn't do makeup. Then they wanna go to the street, and the people wore masks. They feel like it's fashion. People wore mask when they are sick, so they don't wanna to like spread their own germs around other people so we have this and that reasons to wear masks more like than in western i think well i've, I've heard that the particles are too big or uh, that the masks only prevent against larger particles but that the virus can also be transmitted in smaller particles that would get through the mask anyway also there was something that you told me about when people wear masks, what do they do? Uh, I mean, like the mask have different masks, so different grades. For the, yeah, for the virus mask in China, we would like the government suggests to wear like three layer like medicine, like doctor used surgery mask. So this will protect you from like catching the virus. I mean, not a hundred percent, but like more efficient than you are not yes right yeah but then you were mentioning earlier that there's something people do when they're wearing a mask that makes it more risky yeah because like a uh, lots of western like oh you search on google why people don't wear masks they said the wear mask can also be dangerous because when you wear mask you are more likely to touch around your face to adjust your mask also, lots of people don't know the correct way how to wear mask, so it makes mask doesn't protect themselves, and they are more easy to catch the like the like the bacteria around the face, and it's not a help, so it makes stuff worse. So people don't suggest to wear mask thing like that. Right, and the U.S. government has not made masks mandatory. Maybe uh, the information is different. Maybe the, it's it's hard to really know. Yeah. Also, for like Western people, they don't really wear masks. Mm -hmm. Like, do you really wear mask during? No, it's not common. Yeah, well. I think when people wear mask, it's uh, very sick or something. Mm -hmm. Mm, so I think the like the whole of the mask understanding or the mask culture background is different. So like right now since the virus is spreading everywhere, so people more prefer to wear a mask versus they don't wear a mask because it's like a self protection. And I'm I'm not I'm not Chinese obviously. I'm a foreigner here. So it's hard for me to really uh, understand the situation but 
I have my way of looking at things, I guess. Yeah, but like even all the foreigners in China right now, it's like a mandatory when yeah. you're going to the mall right, right, and everywhere. Right. Like it come up with a reason like when the doctor found this uh, coronavirus in the hospital and didn't have any protection on himself, so he died. Then he everyone realized it's like uh, the virus spread in the like breath and ear, so you can have the bacteria through the nose or the mouth. So people start to wear masks and uh, like three layers mask is efficient can block those kind of bacteria like kf94 is the mask we name as like the quality mask we can choose on the market even if western media says it doesn't help it's, it's who you know who do you believe I, I mean, one one source says they work one source says they don't yeah, they don't work but it's not like it's believe or not like they wrote why it's not we don't need more masks so there's like, a logic to it yeah like in china maybe the mask yes really block the bacteria but the way really know how to wear mask properly is the way we're wearing it actually helps us to like block the bacteria then the western is like oh wear mask maybe cause a problem with all the people environment think oh it's very bad and it doesn't like those kind of situation or they think like when you wear mask then you are more likely to use your hand to touch your face and adjust your mask and maybe the way you're using mask is totally not correct it's more easily for you to like catch the bacteria around face so it's rather not wearing masks than wear mask mm. I'm, again i'm a foreigner i'm uh i'm an outsider but uh when I see the masks, obviously I'm going to wear one because you have to wear one to go in anywhere. Do I think that they work? I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Uh, one source says they work. One source says they don't work. It, it doesn't. That to me is not a question I would try to answer. But I will say that I can feel like the masks have a symbolic power of here we all are together fighting the disease actively that if you're not wearing a mask, you are not with us fighting this disease. So uh, the media sources all around the world are jumping on this story because people are interested in disease, epidemic, life and death situations. What can I do to save myself and the people I care about? Of course, everyone's going to jump on it. But here, um, and maybe not as much in the West, or maybe not yet in the West, there is it's like an opportunity to bring everybody together to say here we all are together fighting this thing um, we're all you know you see the posters with uh, the the caricature of a, a doctor in full disease prevention clothing and he's out there fighting the disease and when you wear the mask you're on that team you're with everybody actively fighting the disease together so it's a way to sort of bring us all together uh, yeah. this is how I feel about the mask. Yeah, also like for the mask, like when we go out, we all wear masks. Then we saw someone doesn't wear mask, we can't feel it's insecure. And I don't really want to be too close with that person right. don't wear mask. Right, don't they, don't they watch the news? Don't they listen to the public announcements? Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's, they're an outsider. They're, they're, a, um, they're this crazy, dangerous person, which actually when this whole thing started, I had a joke with Weiwei that if I don't wear a mask, I'll actually be safer because people will avoid coming into contact with me, that they'll see this crazy no mask person and want to get 15 feet away, yeah, which it's but, just a joke, it's yeah, not. But I think uh, like the mask thing or like everyone needs to stay at home. So we need to make it uh, the virus stop spreading mm -hmm. as soon as possible, like this kind of requirements. Yet sometimes it helps because like if everyone don't listen to what government says and they go out and go everywhere, it lets the virus spread very fast. It's hard to control. Are you like uh, carry the coronavirus right now or no? Like if you stay at home, then see if your body temperature is all right and you don't really have other like the things happen on your body. You don't feel anything. That means you are safe and like when we are doing this and like everyone's doing the same thing it's more easier to control the situation like the virus will like uh, 
comes to the end fast mm. then like people don't listen then you wanna go out you go out oh i don't wanna listen so i do whatever i want it's more hard to control like the big picture and and it is i think with the black plague there's an article by i forget whose name but i can link it um basically that the black plague uh when they were trying to prevent it i think in england it was people locked in their uh you know, made to go on mandatory quarantine and the police would go around to make sure people were on quarantine and to ask how many people in your house, is anybody sick? So it that that gave way to like the police state as we know it today, uh, which I think it works. Like, like Weiwei was saying, if people follow the rules and are obedient, then we can prevent the disease. But it's also like, if you're, it, I guess it's like a balance. It's not like, you know, the, the disease didn't happen on purpose. It's just a reaction to like the situation that, okay, we need this obedience. Obedience will save us from this thing. And obedience is in a big way on a symbolic level, though on like a functional level, the fact of staying indoors, yeah, it will prevent you from going into contact with people. And especially when you're in a big city with a lot of people really close together, the quarantine thing becomes really important. Whereas say in america in the suburbs especially or in a rural area where people are pretty spread out this whole quarantining thing might not be as important it's easier to you know track the disease when there's less people and they're more spread out okay so let's go back to the mask question uh -huh. yeah so like uh i think we like for the coronavirus like protect yourself war or not mask i don't really know like if it's helped to wear mask or not but i think as china right now like the whole situation we kind of for this week we don't have any like increasing case now so we have zero case for the whole week which is really good so yes what do you think well, and as far as like no more cases left, okay, so as far as we know, there's no more cases. Yeah, but I mean like people check on you, so right. like for the all government to uh, make the control on every little thing, like right. the, your home neighborhood and uh, this building, that building, they always check and make sure everything goes all right. I mean, you can't really say like is this really no case, but I mean mm -hmm. the whole big picture says like there's like decreasing right. the cases and everything will be stopped very soon mm -hmm. yeah mm. if you uh, if you make people feel like they're being watched then they will you don't really need to watch them because the, like they watch themselves if i think you're watching i'm going to watch myself and come forward with the information anyway if i had a fever and i was at home uh if i think that you're gonna find out before i tell you yeah, I'm going to want to tell you about my fever. But there are people who have the coronavirus and don't show symptoms, right? Yeah. So someone could have it right yeah, now, I mean, but they don't like have a fever. Yeah, I mean, it's like 14 days. So, like, normally it takes 7 to 14 days. So until, To get over it? Yes, until you show something, uh, you can notice. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I've, isn't it also some people will never show symptoms? They have it? Not really. So eventually, after a week or a bit longer, so you will get fever. Mm -hmm. Everyone who has it gets a fever. Yes. Okay. Mm. So the beginning of the cor cor coronavirus. The coronavirus spread. So people think it's from Wuhan, the seafood market, people eating the bad soup. Mm -hmm. Then the bad soup become uh, such a popular video on the internet, like uh, people share and oh it's so disgusting why would people leave those kind of bad soup but actually the bad soup it's not really like I mean I will not eat it but it doesn't mean I will judge people who likes or who I mean who tried it or they wanna eat bad soup because like the bad soup come from like South Africa then Thailand or lots of other like Asia yeah places so it's not really crazy and like why people eat this it's pretty normal for other people who's traditional eat those so when the whole bat narrative comes out and 
uh, I felt, you know, the, the government really did jump on it here to say, see, look what these old backwards countryside habits can do to us. We need to be more, but, okay, we need to be more modern, we need to be more contemporary, we yeah, need to have more wet ming. It's, it's not like the government found out, I mean people oh. found Pe out. So people, okay, pe it, the government doesn't even have to push the story, the people push the story themselves. Um, but but the government also has enjoyed a bit of it too. Like it's on the I official mean, post. The the bat with the cross through it is on the official yes, posters. Yes. Okay. Mm. So like uh, they maybe think the bat is the whole or origin. Yeah. Like the source of the virus. But I mean like is that they are saying like eat bats is no good or good? The whole this question is kind of like I'm not really think it's real or it's uh, disgusting or it's bad or good it's like you are eating this i mean it's white animal yes we shouldn't eat white animal but then like lots of people like always like to ask Chinese people like do you eat dogs and do you eat cats whole this category it's just crazy like why do you matter like it's all animals why do you think you eat cow is better than other people eat dogs I mean, dogs are cute, yes, but when you judge or something is cute, you shouldn't eat them and uh, it's cruel and blah blah blah. It's very, like, um, general. Also, they are pretty, not really, like, say the whole thing, like, so the vegetarian should judge people eat meat is bad. So if you eat meat while you're saying eat this meat is better than people who eat that meat. I think for me, I'm vegetarian. Eat the meat is kind of cruel in some way, like the factory killed animals. Like uh, saying people eat bat is kind of uh, very like cruel too. But I mean, if you eat meat, why would you care? Like, uh, oh, this looks disgusting. Then it's something you will not eat. Doesn't mean other people don't want to try. So it's hard for me even to judge. Mm. Why, like, you think it's, uh, like, uh, such a big deal? Yeah, it, it's a funny line to draw between what animals are okay to eat and what animals are not okay to eat. But it's lines we've been drawing for, like, the whole uh, don't eat pork, um, if that's a big religious distinction, or shellfish. Uh, hey, I guess if people want to make those rules, respect the rules too, respect the distinctions, but to impose those rules on other people, I, I don't think that's good. And the whole don't eat pork thing, it was a health concern originally because the pigs had, I think it was like a parasite or some kind of bacteria that the cooking um, practices of the times could not uh, weed out, but um, these sorts of things are changing all the time so like to yeah i mean like for human like the bat maybe it does contain lots of bacteria mm -hmm. but uh, like other place people do eat them too and they don't have problem i mean there's like the way like what kind of animal is safe to eat and what right. animal is not safe to eat sure so it's all it's, relative yes yeah, so it's really hard to say oh this animal looks kind of nasty so i don't eat it the fear of disease and the idea of like disease prevention and best practice it it, it, it like how far can it go it, it it to me it ends up looking just like ritual and symbolism mm -hmm. and and not to say that like that ritual and symbolism is wrong just like to say that don't eat pork because it's an unclean animal is like ridiculous or wrong no it's fine let people have their rituals let people have their practices but to say like why they're doing it or if it's right or wrong to do it i think those are kind of, those questions can only go so far. It, the the fact of the matter is people wear masks here. People don't wear masks in the West. It's not better or worse. Uh, some people get the disease and die, uh, and we like we accept that the diseases they come and they go. So whatever number, whatever death toll it takes on us, mm -hmm. uh, we'll you know we'll keep on pushing until we get around the next one i guess yeah <laughs> yeah so i think like for the question when mask is good or not wearing it i mean contempt so many like other things like yeah. are you wearing the mask correct way like how you wore mask which mask like you choose are you wearing one layer three layers kf94 and blah 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 so many whole category goes into it it's not really an easy question to answer i mean like also like yes that you wore the mask to a hundred percent correct way and uh, 
like you go out here that's totally protect you from catch it no one can see you definitely will not catch it so it's very it's not something easy to draw the lines and uh, to answer those kind of questions mm. Mm, i think maybe just follow what you want to do and what you think is best for your health then just do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> did it did it come from wild mm -hmm. animal consumption hard to say um it, is that a is is you know are is wild animal consumption now illegal in china yes it is and when they go out to enforce that rule they have the disease as a as an example of why you're not allowed to have that stuff so the enforcers who maybe like they need a reason to enforce the law, right? They're not going to enforce a law unless yeah, they believe but, in it themselves. Yeah, but I mean, like, for the bad soup, it's just how people think. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe the source comes from that, and they get the reference and all the research and blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, the things always change. So, like, right. you... The truth is always changing. Yes, yeah. so it's really hard to say is that a hundred percent true or not. But for now, we do have a new law about wild animal consumption. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, like which I'm sure the you know the factory farmers are happy about that because uh -huh. now there's no wild animal to um, markets to compete them. with them. Yeah, uh -huh. so the market considerations always have to come in too, like the whole mask question. Where do ma like? Are there a lot of mask factories in China? Yeah, but I bet like, there are. Yeah, but during the time, like it's the Chinese New Year, so all the masks sell out. We don't have any more. People have to import from other country and let friends bring them. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to really see. I mean, just what people think they need, and uh, and the media are crazy. They like advertisement. They post the, the new stuff, right. and uh, people just trying to like keep up what with what's going on the media is always a reflection of the mm. actual culture too it's not like the media you know engineers a culture the media reflects a culture and maybe tries to encourage or steer it in a certain way but they're always going to be like interacting with each other so if if it's a, a mask wearing culture in the first place the media can like amplify that but you can't just like automatically command people to start doing something. Mm. All you can do is take their initial uh, disposition and sort of guide that. Yeah, also, okay, the last thought mm -hmm. we're gonna talk. So I think like for the wild animal idea, it's, I mean, I think people shouldn't to eat those kind of rare species and uh, like the animal almost uh, extinction mm -hmm. because we're trying to protect Mm. Yeah, don't have well, no, I totally agree, but I think <laughs> that there's, you know, jerks out there who think like, oh, there's only a hundred um, elephant, you know, X, Y, or Z elephants left in existence. Well, then I better, you know, eat one while I still can. Oh, there's only so many. Yeah, but I mean, like for those kind of, I mean, real species, I also doubt like, like if they are mean to be extinction, are we trying to protect like, do we really want a dinosaur in right now world? Is that uh, like, would have been, yeah, yeah, like during the time, like the age yeah. going by, I mean, the like species mean to be like survive, they will, and right, if right, they right, really right. die, then it's really hard even to protect sure. them. But I think like uh, right now, since human live on the earth, it's so many things human did mm -hmm. is bad for the nature. So human trying to protect back again. Sure. It's trying, you already broke something and you're trying to like save the world. But I mean, the whole thing, it's so hard to see. Well, mm -hmm. did you ever hear this joke? I think you have. Is uh, smoking cigarettes, is it good for the environment? I heard smoking cigarettes is good for the health. Well, okay, but here's this is the joke. Is smoking cigarettes good for the environment? Uh, maybe yes. Why? It's kill some bacteria in the air. No, be well, yeah, it, because it kills humans. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so mm -hmm. that that's the thing. Like we're gonna cause all this animal extinction, but the final animal that we cause the extinction of is going to be ourselves. And that's going to mm. be the, the big final swoop. So like the whole question of like, is it natural for us to let these animals die? Do we need to become conscious of the, the, the trend toward less diversity in the ecosystem? Well, if we do, like the, the final line of that lack of diversity is going to be the, the end of humans. And then after humans are gone, 
well then there won't be humans to mess with this whole thing anymore i well that's a question i think you and i have come toward quite a few times is the difference between the natural and the unnatural so (laughs) so okay we're gonna wrap it up what's Uh, our wrap up okay so i already wrapped so many times so let's wrap one more time it's nothing good or bad or not what what you want to do i think what you want to choose best for your benefit best for your health is what i think you need to do it's even hard for like this side of the world tell you like what you should do because the whole environment whole system is different it's hard to say like what you should do or you should not do it's all about what you want to and if you're in china where it is a, a government rule that is somewhat enforced that you should wear a mask or you have to wear a mask even if no one's going to give you a ticket for it, it's going to make people nervous. People are going to be a little freaked out. So it's almost like don't do it just for yourself if you believe in the mask thing or not. Mm. Do it because other people, like, it gives them the peace of mind that we're all in this together. Yeah, I so think it, it's... It, it's a respect thing. Yeah. Respect the culture that you're in. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I talked a lot today. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Yeah. Thank you so much for yeah, watching. Yeah, if you have any, like, what do you think about the topic we just talked, and what do you think about uh, mask is good, like, and not good or bad, like, what do you think about if you wear a mask or not, you can comment in below. Yeah, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed watching our talk, because we had fun making <laughs> our talk. Is that right? Did we have fun? Oh. We had fun, okay. Mm, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cool.